prepare your hearts and minds, O oh God. If you haven't already, just get in your place, O oh God. Just calm your mind, calm your spirit, and put your mind on Jesus. God is a way maker, O oh God. We thank him, O oh God, because he's never lost a battle, O oh God. We thank him, O oh God, that we are here today, O oh God, standing before him, O oh God, that we have another chance and another opportunity, O oh God, to worship and praise the Lord, O oh God. We thank that we have a place that we can come and worship his name, O oh God, freely, O oh God. Lord, we thank you for the freedoms that you have blessed us with, O oh God. We thank you for being here in this place at this time, O oh God. For, Lord, we are glad when you said unto us, let us come into the house of the Lord, O oh God. Lord, we are excited and we are thankful, O oh God. And we are honored to be in the house of the Lord today, O oh God. Lord, we come in with joy and thanksgiving, O oh God, unto you, Lord. And we come to give your name praise, O oh God. Lord, we thank you for waking us up this morning, O oh God. We thank you for watching over our families, O oh God, all over the night, O oh God. Lord, we thank you for not allowing anyone to harm us, O oh God, or bring danger unto us, O oh God. Lord, we thank you for traveling mercy, O oh God, how we all got here safely, Lord, and in our right minds, O oh God, with the activities of our limbs, O oh God. Lord, we thank you, God, for bringing us, O oh God, through each and every day, O oh God, through each and every week, O oh God. Sometimes it may be hard. Sometimes it may be trying, O oh God. But Lord, you've brought us thus far, O oh God. You've brought us through the pandemic, O oh God. You've brought us through hard times, O oh God. You have provided for us, O oh God. We thank you, Lord, today, O oh God. We don't come with a sad story today, O oh God. We come, O oh God, bringing you praise, hallelujah, and glory and honor today, hallelujah. Hallelujah for all that you have done for us, oh God. Lord, we thank you, oh God, that we're not victims today, but we are victorious through you, oh God. Hallelujah. We thank you, oh God. Oh God, we love you today, God. You have been a mighty God, Lord. You have turned things around in the midnight hour, oh God. You have delivered us, oh God, out of our um, issues and out of our sins. And you have made a way, oh God. You have provided, oh God. You have been faithful, oh God. You have brought us through everything that we have faced, oh God. Lord, we honor you today, oh God. We can't cry, but we can only give you praise, oh God. God. We give you thanksgiving, oh God, today. We come to glorify the name of the Lord today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We didn't come to play today. Hallelujah. We came to glorify your name today. Hallelujah. I thank you, God, because you have brought me from a mighty long way. And I will not dare stand up here and not give you praise. Hallelujah. You have been too good to me. And I thank you for it. Hallelujah. We will give you praise today. Hallelujah. For all that you have done, oh God. You have been mighty, oh God, in this place. You have done marvelous things, oh God. You have worked miracles, oh God. You have worked miracles in our lives, oh God. And we will not fail to give you praise. I don't care how we feel today. It doesn't matter how you feel today. You better give the Lord praise. People are dying every day. Every second, every minute. We better give him praise. Hallelujah. 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 It don't matter if you're young or old. People are losing their lives. We don't have time to play. We don't have time to play pity pat. We have to get serious, people of God. We've got to honor God. We've got to honor God when we come in his place. And we got to give him glory every chance we can, every moment we can, every second we can. We got to love each other. We got to thank God for one another. We got to hug each other. We got to embrace each other. We got to encourage each other. We got to uplift each other. We don't know when our last moment might be. And I want to I want to spend it blessing his name. Woo. I want to spend it thanking him for all that he's done. I want to spend
offended loving people and honoring people and respecting people and giving him glory because that's what he brought us here to do. He brought us here to honor him and love him and worship him. And if we're not doing that, then we're not doing what he wants us to do. Lord, we thank you. Forgive us, God. Forgive us for failing. Forgive us for not doing. Forgive us for being lazy, oh God. Forgive us for not witnessing. Forgive us for being selfish, oh God. Forgive us for being wrapped up and tied up in our own things. But it's to you we got to give you glory, God. We got to give you glory. We got to give you glory, God. Thank you, Jesus. I give you glory, God. You are a mighty God. Oh, you are a mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We honor you today. Whoo! I thank you, God. I thank you, God. If you are in the sound of my voice, give him praise. Hallelujah. Come on, give him praise. Come on, give him praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. God is good. You can be sitting up in here one day and lose your life. Give him praise while you have a chance right now. Give him praise right now. Hallelujah. You don't know when your last moment may be. Give him praise. Let it be giving him praise. Let it be giving him glory. Let it be giving him honor, oh God. Let it be doing something that honors him today. Hallelujah. Let it be giving him honor, oh God. Time is short. Time is short. And we thank you, God, with the time that you have given us, Lord. We will give you praise. Hallelujah. We will give you glory. And we will give you honor. Come on, praise temple. Give him glory. Give him honor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wherever you may be, hallelujah. Give him glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just say thank you, God. Thank you for my life. Thank you for my breath. Because he gave it to you. He breathed it in you. So thank him for it. Thank you for it. Because if he removed it from you, you would just die. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. Hallelujah. We give you glory today, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you. Thank you, God. Like there is no more tomorrow, oh God. We thank you, oh God. Now we may not have another chance, oh God. So we honor you in this moment. And we praise you in this moment for all that you've done. Thank you, Jesus. And let all God's people say, Amen. Psalms 150 says, Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty firmament. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the lute and heart. Praise him with the tremble and dance. Praise him with the string instruments and flute. Praise him with the loud cymbal. Praise him with the clashing cymbal. Let everything let everything, let everything that has breath praise the name of the Lord. People of God, we have a reason to praise him. We have a right to praise him. We have a responsibility to praise him. We have a reason to praise him. We have a right to praise him. We have a responsibility to praise him. I'll say that one more time. We have a reason to praise him. We have a right to praise him. We have a responsibility to praise the name of the Lord. I just want you to take the next 30 seconds and give God a praise because it is your responsibility. It's what we came to do. It's what we come to do today. We bless you, Jesus.
We bless you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, come on, he's here. Let the presence of God arise. Let the fragrance of God arise in this place. God, we bless you, Jesus. Glory to God. Come on, say, who am I? Who am I that you are mindful of me? That you hear me when I call. Is it true? Is it true that you are thinking of me? How you love me. Come on, it's amazing. It's amazing. Do that again. Who am I? Who am I that you are mindful of me? That you hear me when I call. Come on, is it true, is it true that you are thinking of me, how you love me, it's amazing, come on, let's put our hands together, come on, hallelujah, yes, Jesus. Come on, let's do that again. Say, who am I? Who am I that you are mindful of me? That you hear me when I call. Say, is it true? Is it true that you are thinking of me? How you love me, how you love me. It's amazing. It's a man. Now come on, say, I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. Come on, help us say, I am a friend of God. Anybody know you're a friend? I am a friend of God. He calls me friend. Come on, help us pray simple. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. Friend of Let's do that again. Come on, let's declare that. Say, I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. Come on, say it like you know it. I am a friend of God. Say it because it's the truth. I am a friend of God. He calls me friend. Do that just one more time. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. He called me friend. I love this part. God Almighty, Lord of glory, you have called me friend. God Almighty, Lord of glory, you have called me me friend say God Almighty God Almighty Lord of glory you have called me friend come on do that again say God Almighty God Almighty Lord of glory you have called me friend Come on, I want you to say that with us. Say, God Almighty. Lord of glory. You have called me friend. Just one more time. Come on. Say, God Almighty. Say, Lord of glory. You have 
have called me. Say, I am, I am a friend of God. I am, I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. He calls me friend over and over. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. God Almighty. Come on. Say, God Almighty. God Almighty. Lord of glory. You have called me friend. Come on, break the music. Say that. God Almighty, Lord of glory, you have called me friend. Come on, say that church, come on. God Almighty, Lord of glory, you have called Come on, do that one more time. Come on, say God Almighty. God Almighty, Lord of glory, you have called me Now, come on, I need everybody. Just put your hands together. Come on. Let's do that again. Break the music. Say, God Almighty, God Almighty, Lord of glory. You have called me friend. Come on, lift your voice. Say, God Almighty, Lord of glory. You have called me friend. Let's take it home. Say, I am a friend of God. Say, I am a friend of God. Yes, God. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. He calls me friend. Do that just one more time. Come on. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. He calls me friend. God Almighty, Lord of glory, you call me friend, and that's why I worship you. So Lord, we ask that you receive our worship this morning, for your words that they that worship must worship in spirit and in truth. God, receive our worship as a sweet fragrance and a aroma in your nostrils. Oh, hallelujah, 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 Jesus. Come on, say you, Lord, you, Lord, you are worthy. No one can worship you for me. This is a personal song. Come on. 
for all the things you've done for me and no one can worship you for me come on lift your hands and say here's my worship here's my worship all of my worship receive my word Jesus all of my worship come on here's my worship here's my worship all of my worship receive my worship all of my words come on let's do it again from the top you lord you lord you are worthy and no one and no one can worship you for me for all the things you've done for me and no one can worship you for me come on here's my worship here's my worship all of my worship receive my worship all of my words do that again here's my worship here's my word oscar come here one more time all of my worship receive my worship all of my word play that part here's my worship Come on, everybody say, here's my worship, here's my worship, all of my worship, receive my worship, all of my worship, do that again, here's my worship, here's my worship. All of my worship, receive my worship. Come on, all of my worship. Now y'all know this part, and I will not, and I will not be silent. I will always worship you as long as I am breathing I will always worship you now come on everybody say and I will not be silent and I will not be silent I will always worship you anybody make that your declaration today as long as long as I am breathing I will always worship Come 
going to break the music. And I will not be silent. And I will not be silent. I will oh, hey, worship you. As long as I am breathing, as long as I am breathing, I will always worship. Come on, do that again. And I will not be silent. And I will not be silent. And I will and I not be not be shy come on break the music and I will and I will not be silent and I will not be say I will I will always worship you as long as I am breathing, as long as I am breathing, I will always worship you. Here's my worship. Here's my worship, all of my worship. We see my worship, all of my worship. Here's my worship. Here's my worship, all of my worship. We see my worship, all of my worship. Break the music, and I will not be silent. One more time. And I will not be silent. I will always worship you. As long as I'm breathing. As long as I am breathing, I will always worship you. Here's my worship. Here's my worship. All of my worship. Receive my worship, all of my worship. One more time, here's my worship. Here's my worship, all of my worship. Receive my worship, all of my worship. Say you, Lord. You, Lord, you are worthy. Now, come on, let's worship the Lord in this house. Come on, let's worship him. Come on, let's worship Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, let him receive it today. Let him receive it today. Let him receive it today. Glory to God. Glory to God. And I will not be silent. I will always worship you as long as I am breathing I will 
always worship you. Come on, one more time. And I will not be silent. I will always worship you. Glory to God. As long as I am breathing, I will all come on, church. Worship. Just one more time, sing it to heaven. I will not be silent, and I, yes, not be silent. I will always worship you. As long as I am breathing, as long as I am breathing I will always worship you here's my worship all of my worship receive my worship all of my word we're done holy ghost hallelujah here's my worship here's my worship all of my worship receive my worship all of my worship here's my Did you enjoy the praise team worshiping God? But the song that they sang said, no one can worship him for me. So, so if you were here enjoying them, then that means you weren't worshiping him. But for the next few seconds, if God needs anything for you, I want you to stand up on your feet and worship him for yourself. No one can worship him for me. No one can praise him for me. No one can give him glory for me because he's been too good. He's been too kind. No one. No one can do it for me. No one can do it for me. Why? Because no one can do me like he can. No one can heal me like he can. No one can save me like he can. No one can pick me up like he can. No one can worship him for me. Today we give him honor, glory. We praise him. We worship him because no one can worship him for me. One more time, give him some praise in this house. While you're standing, let's go to him. Gracious Father, I thank you for how, who you are. I thank you for watching over us and keeping us. Thank you for blessing us down through this week and bringing us in the beginning of another new week. I thank you for praise and worship and thank you for the praise team, and the musicians, the congregation. Thank you for all of those that lifted up their voice 
and praise to you this morning. We thank you for those that are joining us on the airways, and we pray for them today that you will touch them somehow out of your eternal word. Now bless your messenger as I speak to your people. Lord, I don't know what they're standing in need of, but you know all things. In your word, Lord, I pray that you heal, deliver, set free. In Jesus' name, I pray God's people say amen. I'm going to give them one more praise before you see. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Truly, we thank him and honor him today for allowing us to be back into this place. If it had not been for the Lord that was on our side, where would we be? I am just excited about what the Lord is doing in the lives of his people. And I say to the praise team, keep on letting God use you. Uh, to our musicians, uh, uh, if you look at music as, uh, playing music as a talent, you missed the mark. Playing music is a form of praise. Well, the Bible said, let everything that has breath praise ye the Lord. So, so if you're playing an instrument today, you're praising God. You don't, you don't even have to open your mouth. But in that instrument is your praise. Thank God for Oster soloing. Uh, one of these days, you're going to show me how to play that sax. <laughs> God is good, I tell you. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice because he has given us an opportunity to be a part of this day. Could have been a lot of places that we could have been, but thank God for being here today. Thank God for Pastor Matthias. Hadn't seen him in a while. God bless you, sir. Maybe, maybe that'll be William's job to bring you to church every Sunday. Then that means William have to come do. <laughs> I thank God for seeing you. Uh, he decided to move across the river. Uh, but we, we're still yet here up on the hill doing what we can in the kingdom of God. Uh, the Lord has done so many mar marvelous things in our lives. And, and for this, we have to praise him. We have to give him glory. I uh, thank God for it. In today's lesson, we are st our study text is found in Acts chapter number 27 and verses 27 through 44. Acts chapter 27, verses 27 through 44. Very familiar, familiar scripture. I've preached it many times uh, uh, in different ways. The good thing about the Lord's word is every time you preach it or read it, you get something else out of it. And today, you got your Bibles. Uh, uh, please turn and join us in the word of the Lord. Acts chapter 27, verses 27 through 44. Those that are joining us on Facebook, uh, YouTube, we, we pray that you can get your Bibles and follow along with us. We thank God for you joining in. Uh, uh, the very familiar scripture. As you turn there, just remember that great is our faithfulness. Great is thou faithfulness. Morning by morning. New mercy I see All I have needed Thou hand hath provided Great is Thou faithfulness Lord unto me Acts chapter 27, our noted text today is found in verse 41, Acts 27, 
41. And falling into a place where two seas met, they ran the ship aground, and the fourth part, or the fourth part, struck fast and remained unmovable. But the hinder part was broken with the violence of the waves. And having fallen in a place where two seas met, they, they ran the ship aground, and the fore part struck fast and remaineth unmovable, but the hinder part was broken with the violence of the waves. I, I want to share with you a topic today when life, life breaks up around you. When life breaks up around you. You may not have experienced this in your life yet. It's not a matter of if it's going to happen. It's a matter of when it's going to happen. But there is a way out of when life breaks up around you. You don't have to worry about it. The Lord promised he'll never leave us nor forsake us. But your life will break up. <laughs> I, I'm just, I just want to prepare you for it. And that's what I like about this walk with God. He, he forewarns us yeah. that all who will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. So it shouldn't be something strange to you when, when issues comes up in your life or persecution comes in your life. Uh, you shouldn't waste a whole lot of time trying to figure out why. Uh, you have already been forewarned that things will happen in your life. So, so when life breaks up around you, here we have the story of a voyage that was taken at the wrong time. Uh, and the man of God warned them that you should not take this voyage. But a lot of times we, we tend to not heed to warnings. Uh, first life point is ignoring God sent instruction. In ignoring God sent instruction. Many times we are on the right boat. We're on the right we're in the right place. We're on the right road. But the time to go is not yet. Are you listening to me? Paul wasn't saying to them that uh, the voyage couldn't be taken. He was saying to them that the time is not good. Uh, when life breaks up. A lot, a lot of times we can avoid breakups if we take heed to the instructions that God sends. Uh, I know you young folks like to think that. <laughs> you okay. But you just wait <laughs> until life begins to break up. And, and I, 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 don't, I don't like to laugh at people, but behind your back, I will laugh at you. Because I remembered when I told you that these days would be coming. And, and then many of you, because you've been here before, you tend to realize or think that, yeah, you got it all together. I, I used to think that too. Uh, but I learned early that when life breaks up, you need somebody that have already been through life to talk to about it. So most of my life, I hung around with old folks. Old folks, old folks. 
And the day I got a few scars on me from working, but I don't got I don't have any scars from hard hard times. Oh, y'all ain't hear me. I said, I got a few scars from working, hitting my finger with the hammer, or cutting myself with the saw. But I have no scars from battles. Because I followed. <laughs> y'all go, you yeah, okay, understand it better by and by. Instructions are given so that it can uh, give you knowledge of things that you have to do or say or live through. The Bible is described, the Old Testament, as a, a, a lawgiver or, or a schoolmaster that would lead us to Christ. The things that were written were for our examples. And, and so having examples of illustrations of people in different situations helps us in life. If we never read about their situation, then we wouldn't know how to deal with it when our life comes into the same situation. The way I got to Alaska is somebody took the time and mapped out a route. It would have been a hard thing trying to find Alaska and not knowing where it was. Uh, uh, help me, Jesus. Uh, today we got GPS. and We just say or type in a command through a 330, 351 Turpin Street, and your car, your phone, your iPad will take you to that address. Tells you every turn. Some of them are so wise that it'll tell you that there is an accident on, on uh, commercial drive. You should go Fifth Avenue. These are information. These are instruction that tells you to avoid certain things. I got a, a little app on my phone that every time something happens in Anchorage, it sends me a warning or an indication that this has happened at this place uh, or avoid this situation. Are, are y'all following me today? These are all in what? Instructions. And then God said he, he will give you shepherd after his own heart. And, and these shepherds will, will instruct you in, in the righteousness of God. And, and not only the righteousness of God, they will help you in your walk in life. Because God will make them wise. To, because that's why the Bible said a leader should not be a novice, but be experienced. And, and you get experienced through living through instructions. I would y'all hear me today. And, and so in verse 27, chapter 27, verse 9 through 12, it says that now when much time was spent and when sailing was now dangerous, because the fast was now already passed, Paul admonished them and said unto them, Sirs, I perceive that this voyage will be with hurt and much danger, uh, uh, damage. Are uh, y'all listening to me? Not only of the land, lading, and ship, but also of lives. And sometimes the Lord will give us instruction, give us a word, and sometimes we kind of walk away from it and say, no, nah, not me, not this time, that's for somebody else. But we need to start taking heed to the word of God. And when the Lord speaks in our life, we need to listen so the Lord, uh, so our our life will not break up around us. Verse 11 says, Nevertheless, the centurion believed the master and the owner of the ship. It's, it's amazing that Christians will believe other folks before they believe the man or woman of God or people of God. Uh, but it goes on to say, more than those things which have, were spoken by Paul. And because the haven was not Herodias to winter in, and the more part advised, uh, the more part advised to depart hence also, and if by any means they might attain Prenus and there to winter, otherwise they were going to stay in these places during the winter, which is a haven of credit, and lieth no, towards southwest and northwest. That, that was a place they could stay, but they had, it was too late. 
they had fell into rough times. And some of you today, your life has fallen into rough times. But, but today God got a word for you. Because we're going to teach you how. We're going to tell you how to live through life breakups. Uh, look at somebody that life is breaking up around me. So, so what is your responsibility to instruction when we receive it? What is our responsibility to instruction will, uh, when we receive it? The, the Lord said, take heed. Uh, take heed to the word that you receive. The Bible goes on to say that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Jesus speaks to us through his leaders and, and those that he has put in charge or uh, put over us. And, and he speaks to them and he gives them word. I, I know that we are in Christ's body and we are many members, but not all of us out ahead. Uh, you're listening to me. Uh, there, there are duties and responsibility that each one of us has to do. Uh, but there, there is an awesome responsibility for those that are he, in head or uh, leadership position. Uh, they need to get a word from God so they can instruct you how to get through life's breakup. I, I, you are listening to me. Uh, so it becomes very important for us to listen very attentively. There, there are those when any time you have a communication or a conversation, uh, there, are, there are barriers or filters between the two people that are conversating. Uh, and whatever I say may not be be what you perceive or hear. Uh, you're listening to me. And whatever you say to me not, may not be what I perceive. You may say one thing, but in my ear, I, I'm hearing something else. That's why the Bible declares that in all you're getting, get understanding. If you don't quite understand what someone is saying to you, ask them to clarify themselves or make it plain. And so it becomes our responsibility to understand instruction. Understand what is given up to, unto us. Whether it's in school, whether it's in our home, whether it's in the church, whether it's on our job, whatever instructions are given, it becomes our responsibility to get and understand it. I am one with authority and I, I supervise many people and I tell some to go and some to come and it, it is their responsibility to understand what I'm saying to them and it's my responsibility to, to clarify to them, to make it plain that this is what I intend you to do and this is what I expect the result to be. Are y'all listening to me? Uh, when life breaks up around you, then we go to life point number two. Uh, uh, life point number two, uh, how you respond to trouble determine your outcome. Uh, your response is very important. And if you don't respond right, uh, your, your, your response... Your outcome could be devastating. Uh, are y'all still there? Uh, do you still have an ear? Are you hearing what I'm saying to you? How you respond? Because when, when life begins to break up, uh, the, the first response is to panic. And I've tell, told you over and over, you got to keep your composure. Uh, your composure. You can't just be uh, uh, running wild and, and losing your, 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 your authority, your your, your ability, your courage. You got to be courageous and uh, you got to be strong and you got to stand your ground because uh, when life begins to break up uh, and a fear sits in and if doubt sits in, life going to be the victor. Uh, that breakup is going to be the victor in your life. Uh, but if you have some courage, uh, if you have some strength, if you just stand your ground, God's going to take you through. Look at somebody say, just stand your ground. Uh, God's going to bring you through it because he wouldn't take you in it if he wasn't going to bring you through it. God didn't come to destroy you, but he came that you might have life and that that life may be more abundantly. And how can he give me life if he allowed me to be destroyed when my life breaks up around me? But I serve a God that'll keep me through my struggles, that'll keep me through my destruction, that'll keep me through my trials, that that'll keep me through my temptation that'll keep me through my tribulation I serve a God that is able anybody in here know that he's able uh, you respond to it 
It determines how your income or what your income will be. I'm so glad over the years that he has built me and, and he has developed me to not respond negatively to things that come in my life. I am so glad that he has given me courage even in the midst of trials. I can stand strong and I can hold on to his unchanging hand because he has given me the word and that word has instructed me and showed me that I am going to make it. I'm going to make it through. I'm going to make it through the storms of life. I'm going to make it through the situations of life. I'm going to make it through and when he comes back, I'm going to see him when he comes. Come on, put your hand together. Give God some praise. How you respond to it. And in verse 27 of the 27th chapter, then the Bible declares that, but when the 14th night was come, somebody said two weeks later, as we were driven up and down in Adria, uh, about midnight the shipmen deemed that they drew near to some country and sound and found it twenty phantoms. And when they had gone a little further, they sound again and found it fifteen phantoms. In other words, they were going into shadow waters. Are you still there with me? And then fearing least lest we should have fallen upon rocks, they cast forth anchors out in the stern and wished uh, for the day. And as the shipmen were about, uh, verse 30, and as the shipmen were about to flee out of the ship, when they had uh, let down the boat into the sea under the color as though they were, they would have cast anchors out of the foreship. Paul said unto the centurions and to the soldiers, verse 31, except thee abide, these abide in the ship, you cannot be saved. Here coming, even after you miss, yeah, even after you dis obeyed the first instruction. God's going to send something else to try to save your life. Uh, Jesus help me. Even after you've disobeyed him and you've let God down, he's going to still send something else to try to save your life. And now, now that your ship is about to sink, now that you're about to lose your life, God sends another word. Unless you abide in the ship, you cannot be saved. What a God we serve. Why, could, why would God tell you to abide in a ship that's going to be torn apart? God knows your life is about to be shattered. But he says that you hold on a little while longer. That's, that's why I, I worry about people that runs away from the church. Soon as a little something happened, they run away. But God said, abide in the ship. Even if it's sink, stay in the ship. Even if it's torn apart, stay in the ship. Why? Because the Lord says, you shall not be saved. Verse 32. Then the soldiers cut off the ropes of the boats and let her fall off. And, and while the day was coming on, Paul besought them all to take meat, saying, This day is the fourteenth day that you have tarried and continued fasting, having taken nothing. See, sometimes it's good to fast, but there's a time when you should eat. Look at somebody say, there's a time to eat too. And, Wherefore, I pray you take some meat, for this is for your health, and there shall not a hair fall from your head of any of you. Listen to that Lord talking. Even after you've done the wrong thing, he's a God of a second chance. And, and when he had thus spoken, he took bread and gave thanks to God in the presence of them all. And when they had broken it, he began to eat. Verse 36. Then they were all of good cheer, and they also took some meat. And we were in all, uh, we were in all in the ship, 200, three scores, and 16 souls. 
266 souls in the ship. Uh, Y'all still there with me? And when they had eaten enough, uh, they lightened the ship and cast out the wheat into the sea. Uh, In other words, the sea, the the, 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 the ship was about to sink because it's overloaded. So they began to cast things out. And when it was day, they knew not the land, but they discovered a certain creek uh, with a shore. And and into the which they were minded. And if possible to trust the ship. And verse number 40 says, and when they had taken up the anchors, they committed themselves into the sea and loosed the rubber bands and, and hosed up the main sail to the wind and made toward the shore. Uh, sometime, you know, uh, now that we are in the storm, we have to kind of try our best to endure the storm. Uh, you, you can't give up. In the storm, ain't no time to stop crying. Oh, y'all not listening to me. When you're in the storm, ain't no time to start uh, looking, calling on mama, daddy. In the storm, you better try to do everything you can to survive. Uh, You better try to do everything you can to stay afloat. Uh, Things doesn't look good in your life, uh, but that's not a time for you to give up. Uh, uh, Life is looking pretty bad. Look like you're going on a downward spiral, but there's that's no time to give up. Uh, look like this is it. Uh, look at your neighbors and look like this is it. Uh, but that's no time for you to give up. Uh, thank you, Jesus. You are just uh, in a part of your life uh, that is being broken up. Uh, but God promised that he's going to save your life. Uh, and so it determines how you respond uh, to the situation uh, that determines how you're going to make it through. Uh, look at somebody say, hey, come hell or high water. I'm going through. I'm going to make it through this thing. Thank you, Jesus. And then we get down to our last life point. Life point number three says the broken pieces. And a lot of times I've been in the scriptures and I've preached on this message about the broken pieces. Turn to the next slide if you me, if you please. I preached on this uh, uh, this topic, the broken pieces. Uh, but this week, God gave me a little deeper revelation. Uh, can y'all stay there with me? Uh, let's go a little deep. Uh, verse 41 says, uh, uh, the falling into a place where two seeds met, uh, uh, and they went aground, uh, and uh, the ship uh, began to break apart, uh, and the violent waves began to toss the ship, uh, and the soldiers counter- counsel was, uh, verse 42, uh, to kill the prisoners. Now keep in mind, Paul, those were prisoners, uh, and they were taking them to Rome uh, uh, to have them be tried, uh, and, 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 and to keep them from escaping, because uh, they knew that the ship was about to, to crash or to be destroyed. Uh, they were going to kill all the prisoners, uh, but the centurion uh, willing to save Paul. Uh, I don't know about you, but somebody, God has somebody that'll stand up for you. Even somebody in the world will stand up for you. Thank you, Jesus. I'll never forget one time, and I told y'all this before, so this is no new news. I've only been locked up once in my life. Cops stopped me for a ticket on a car that I was driving because I did not have registration. And he wanted $30 or he's going to take me to jail. And back in those days, $30 were hard to find. And I didn't have any money. And I had two people riding with me. And he said, well, you better ask them. I said, I don't need asking them. They're living off of me. And and he said, well, I guess I'm going to have to take you to jail. And as he was getting ready to take me to jail, these two young men got out of the car and they were going to jump on this patrolman. And I told him, no, don't do him, no, no, don't do that. You just get in the car and go home. Uh, God always got somebody that wants to stand up for you. Now, they weren't saved. They knew I was saved, was saved uh, but they weren't saved. And they were willing uh, to go against the popo uh, just to protect me. Uh, Lord, thank you for friends uh, that will look out for you. If you got somebody, whether in the, in the world or in the church, uh, and they won't stand up for you, you 
need to get rid of them. Uh, but this centurion says, uh, he willing to save Paul, he kept them from their purpose uh, and commanded that they which were, were could swim should cast themselves first into the sea and get to land. And the rest, some on boards and some on broken pieces of the ship, so that it came to pass that they all escaped safe to land. Uh, I, I want to talk a, mi a minute uh, about broken pieces. Uh, what is broken pieces? Uh, uh, it's not broken promises because uh, broken promises don't do you no good. <laughs> If you're still living on broken promises, you're living a fantasy world. But broken pieces, can I get deep on this thing? The broken pieces are the word of God. What saved them today? It was the word that Paul spoke into their life. Say, none of you shall lose their life. So whether you came on broken pieces, whether you got on a board, uh, the fact that you are still alive is because the Lord spoke a word uh, into your life. It's not because uh, you got a treatment for the illness you had. Uh, it's because the Lord uh, spoke a word in your life. Uh, you're not still here because somebody did something spectacular or it's by some great miracle. It was because the Lord spoke a word in your life. Uh, Paul said some warded, some uh, planted, but God gave the increase. You you got a piece of word here. You got a piece of word there. But you are here today because you are here today because of the word. The word of God. How am I making it? Through every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the Lord. The Bible declared that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Remember on the ship, uh, Paul gave them bread, yeah. said you fasted long enough, uh, have a little bread uh, for your health's sake. Uh, Paul was seeing in the future that in a, just a little while, you're going to have to swim to land uh, and you're going to need some strength. Uh, and if you keep on fasting, uh, you're going to fall, you, your body going to get weak uh, and you're not going to be able to make it to safety. Well, I often tell you, when you're going into a battle, you fast at the beginning, but a day or two before the battle, you better eat something. I thank God for the word. I thank God for the word. I, I'm almost through now. I'm almost through. In our conclusion, since we have to be on something, thank you, Jesus. Since we have to be on something, thank you, Jesus. Some of us are on cocaine. Some of us are on opioid. Some of us are on painkillers. But since we have to be on something anyhow, I'm on the word. I'm high on the word. I'm fired up on the word. I live on the word. I have my being on the word. Every day I get up, I'm on the word. Everything I do, I'm on the word. And tell you, we have to be on something anyhow. We might as well be on something uh, that's going to get us through uh, the breakup of lives. Uh, and I am uh, on the word. Uh, I'm here today uh, because I'm on the word. Uh, I got it all in my vein. Uh, I got it all in my blood. Uh, I got it all uh, in my heart. Uh, every day.
say I have to go through something. I'm on the word. I am victorious because I'm on the word. I am more than conquerors because I am on the word. He promised me that no weapon that is formed against me shall prosper because I am on the word. So doing life break up I make it through because I'm on the word of God I don't care what life brings my way I'm gonna be alright because I am on the word I say to you today if you're going through something and you want to make it through you better get on the word you better get on the word of God if you're gonna be victorious if you're gonna be a conqueror you better get on the word of God because there's a storm coming there's a storm coming and if you're not on the word it's gonna wipe you out but I'm so glad I'm secure in the word of God I don't care what you think about me I am on the word of God I don't make my decisions in life because of what you say I didn't make it because of the word when I need to do something I say to myself what did the word say and if the word says I can do it I step out on faith may not be able to see it may not know how it's going to happen but because of the word I step out so broken pieces get your broken pieces get your broken pieces you may hear a little here you may hear a little there but start breaking start putting those pieces together every time life begin to break up grab a broken piece every time life begin to destroy you grab a broken piece every time you look like you're going down grab a broken piece every time look like the enemy gonna destroy you grab a broken piece they were saved by broken pieces they were saved by the word by the word by the word of God if you are holding on the broken pieces uh, jump to your feet uh, and give God some praise uh. I'm here I'm here I'm here because of broken pieces Look at somebody and say, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still here. The devil thought he was going to destroy me. The devil thought. He was going to take me out. But thank God for broken pieces. When I was going down for the last time, I reached and found a piece that says, I will look to the hills. From what cometh? my help all of my help all of my help all of my help come from the Lord when the doctor said I was going out 
what you have is terminal. But I reach back and I grab another piece that said by his strife. By his strife. By his strife. I am healed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Another time. It looked like my family was being going to the dogs. But I reached back and got another piece. Say, I'll bless your home. I'll bless your offspring. I'll bless your family. I'll do what you asked me to do. And what I asked him to do was save my family. I got another piece. Oh, Jesus. And when confusion uh, came into my home, uh, I reached back and picked uh, another piece. Uh, and that piece says, uh, if you be in Jesus, uh, he'll make your enemy be at peace uh, with you. Uh, and it goes on to say, uh, if you uh, put your mind uh, on him, uh, I'll hold tight to this piece. If you put your mind uh, on him he will keep you he will keep you in perfect peace there was a time when I didn't have two nickels to rub together was as poor as poor could be but I went back and I grabbed another piece. And that piece said, if you abide in me and my word abide in you, you can ask what you will. I read back and got another piece. He said, I'll make you to lend and not to borrow. I reach back and grab another piece. He said, I'll make you to head and not to tell. Grab your piece today, whatever your need is, reach and grab a piece of the word of God as we go down to our conclusion. Whatever you need today, reach out, reach out and grab a piece. If it's healing, grab a piece. If it's deliverance, grab a piece. If you need a helper, grab a piece. If you need a friend, grab a piece. If you need a doctor, grab a piece. If you need a lawyer, grab a piece. Somebody, pray them in this house. Somebody, give up glory. Somebody. When life breaks up around you, 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 you, grab a piece of the word of God. It's all right to praise you. Your victory is in your praise. Your victory is in your praise. Ah. Look at the devil, the devil. You thought you had me, but I've got a peace. I've got a piece of the word. Woo. 
I'm blowing through. I'm blowing through. I'm going through. He's putting it all back together now. He's putting it all back together now. He's putting it all back together now. He's putting it all back together. Broken pieces. When life falls, breaks apart around you. Hold on to break it to the broken pieces. Ah, Jesus. Come on, give God some praise in this house. When life breaks up around you, hold on to the broken pieces. The broken pieces is what God said in his word. If Paul hadn't spoken life into those people on the ship, no board, no peace, no swimming would have saved him. Because of the word. He said, none of you. And just in case you missed this, and I'm going to throw this in, I'm not going to even charge you for it. Even after God gives the word, you still got to do something. There's come a time in your life where you got to jump off the ship. Somebody missed Alvin. Because you're still trying to stay on the ship. That is going down. Remember I told you, you're on the ship, but the, the time is not now? You notice Paul didn't say, no, y'all stay on the ship. At the time, he told them that they needed to stay on the ship. But there's coming a time where the ship going to sink. <laughs> and if you want to be saved, I'm old, but I still can jump. Yeah. I know when the ship is about to go down. I got enough word into me to know that it's time to get off this ship. And if your ship is about to sink, it's safe to jump off. Because the moment you jump off and the ship is destroyed, some pieces will come. And you need to catch hold of the pieces. God bless you.
May heaven smile upon you. I am praying for you today. Whatever your needs are in this building. If your life is falling apart. There is salvation in Jesus. There is victory in Jesus. Whatever you're going through today. There is nothing too hard for the Lord. You know within yourselves that your life <laughs> is falling apart. You know within yourself. Nobody has to tell you. You already know that your life needs help. My job is to give the word. Your job is to respond. I don't, I don't read people's mind. I don't, I'm not nosy to get in your life. But I'll tell you this. When the word is given, it is given for instruction. And whatever that need are, needs are in your life, you need to take heed to the word of God. Because this may be the last day that you have a change. Thank you, Jesus. Is there a need in your life right now? Those that are listening to us on Facebook, YouTube, you need Lord in your life, you need prayer. Dial the number on the screen, 907-258-9682. Someone will pray for your prayer request. If you need somebody to call you, leave a message, and someone will get back with you. Those of us in this building, if you need prayer right now, just raise your hand where you're at. Gracious Father, I thank you for all those in this place. I pray for them right now. There is no restriction in prayer, Lord. There is no distance in prayer. But it's believing your word. And it is upon that word today that we stand. And we, we stand in agreement with those with their hands up. Whatever they need today. That you'll come to the rescue. And that you'll answer them. In Jesus' name we pray. God's people say amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. When life breaks up around you. We certainly thank God for the opportunity to share his word. Hope that the word that have, words that have been shared will enlighten your walk with God. And give you a close, closer walk with him. As we move on in our service, I thank God for allowing me the opportunity to uh, complete and publish my first book. Uh, this is my story. Uh, they were supposed to be in ever since the last part of December because of all the delays. Uh, I got some of them in yesterday, some more supposed to be in today. So I got a limited amount today. You, you need to get your autographed copy of my story. This book is designed to build your faith in God. And once you re read some of the things that I've gone through, I believe you'll be encouraged to make that step. But I thank God for the opportunity and chance, the vehicle that has uh, made this possible. Even if you don't get one directly from me, you can go on Amazon and search Eugene McCray, and you can order directly off of Amazon. If you are uh, you like audio books, 
You can also order, order the book in a digital copy um, from, uh, what's the Amazon tune thing? Kindle. Thank you. Uh, the, uh, you can order it off of Amazon through Kindle, and you can listen to it uh, any, at your leisure. But I was appreciate you support me today. Uh, they're they're selling for twenty dollars a copy, and I'll be happy if you buy one from me. And uh, in about fifty years, if you got this book, it's gonna worth you some money. Especially if you get like the first, second, third, fourth. Uh, Chances are he got the first autographed copy, so you better make sure you get like the second, third. Because uh, it, it may be something coming your way. But, but you got to listen to the instruction. Amen. So God bless you. We're preparing ourselves for giving. As you prepare for giving, uh, many has already given uh, online. Those of you that still need to give personally, uh, finance team is ready uh, to receive your offering. We'll give you a few minutes to get yourself prepared. Pre prepared for giving certainly we thank God for you those that are visiting with us today thank God for you especially thank you uh, the secretary is coming uh, uh, announcer is coming uh, in a little bit but on August March 6 that's the right date uh, March 6 uh, my wife and I will be uh, participating on a, a marriage cons conference with Bishop uh, Travel Travis. It's all over Facebook, so if you if you have an opportunity to attend, it's a registration fee of fifteen dollars, and uh, uh, if you want to be a part of it, uh, you got to register, and then you'll see what we have to say. And I think after 45 years, almost 46 years, we probably got a few things to say. Uh, so if you can, those of you that are married, those of you that are looking at being married, you need to be a part of this conference. It's not just us, it's, it's three more other co couples that are, are part of this conference. It's like a three, four days conference it's all on Zoom and uh, Facebook, I think. But if you can, you got the opportunity, get the information and be a part of it. At this time, you're in, you're in control of the ushers, finance team. Anybody need to give this at this time? Just raise your hand. Finance team, there you go. Those of you that are with us on Facebook, YouTube, please, uh, if you can, uh, to donate to the, this ministry so that we can continue to do the work that we're doing. Uh, we're fastly uh, planning and growing churches in several different countries, uh, 200 and some churches in three different countries, and still growing every day. Uh, but a, a lot of the support comes from those that gives to the foreign mission. So today, if you can give to the foreign mission, there, there are ways to give. Uh, you can give by Cash App, uh, Dollar Sign Praise Temple, Alaska, or you can text the word GIVE to 833-676-0308, or you can give through our Givelify app and search for Praise Temple Anchorage, Alaska. Uh, you can also mail your check in, money order to 822 East Loop Road, Anchorage, Alaska, zip 99501. At this time, our announcer is coming uh, with our announcement.